So welcome everyone. Again, <laughs> my name is Liz. I come from Hungary. Uh, I used to live in London for a few years and since 2014 I live here in Germany. I've been working in corporate environment for almost 20 years and two years earlier I decided to uh, leave my corporate job behind and support people as a full-time yoga teacher. My main focus is trauma work and emotional healing by raising awareness in the body through movement and sensory experiences. Uh, so in today's class I'm going to teach you a few uh, simple exercises that you can practice at home or you can practice in the office if you have a quiet space for yourself um, to relieve basically the, the physical discomfort that um, appears in the body after long, long hours of sitting and believe me after my corporate years I really know how it feels <laughs> and also to to relieve stress and to ground yourself whenever you find yourself in a situation in the workplace where you feel overwhelmed, anxious or stressed, this is also a great way to ground yourself, to come back into your body and to regulate yourself. So today um, we will only need a chair, preferably without armrests and without wheels, so we are going to have stability there. And as you might know already, yoga is much, much more than just flexy people uh, posing on Instagram in really cool leggings. So it, it has a much deeper philosophy into it and it can really support you in your personal life, both on an emotional level and on a physical level. Just to mention a few um, um, benefits of yoga. For example, you can improve your posture, you can improve your musculoskeletal health. It can support you if you suffer from stiff neck, back pain, or uh, lower back pain, or painful shoulders. It can help you to concentrate, to focus better. It uh, really supports your digestion, your sleep, and there's really an endless list I could go on with. So today, I encourage you to get your chair and to remove your shoes, preferably. And I also invite you to remove your socks because it's just really awesome to do yoga bare feet. That you can really connect to the ground under you and you can feel the texture of the ground under you and also for stability and grip it's best to remove any slippery socks all right so we are going to start out with a short meditation or rather make sure that you're sitting in a quiet space preferably on your own without distraction of kids or pets or a partner and once you're comfortable gently close your eyes and I invite you to observe your breath. No need to change your breath in any way. Just stay with it. Just stay with the natural rhythm of your inhalation and exhalation. And watch how your inhalation lifts your chest and how your rib cage sinks with your exhalation. And just take a few breaths like this with closed eyes. This is a great way to arrive into a body. And then bring your attention onto the body parts that are touching your chair and also to your feet which are touching the ground. 
Feel how your back is pressing against the backrest of the chair. How your bottom is pressing onto your chair. Feel the texture of the floor or carpet or whatever you have under your feet. And just give yourself this moment to be fully present in your body and in this very moment. And then take three deep breaths and this time really fill your lungs with air when you inhale. And still. And then with your last exhalation, whenever you get there, slowly open your eyes. So let's start our exercises with some very, very simple movements. Let's start with some neck circles. So just sit comfortably on your chair, preferably with feet still on the ground. Rest your hands whenever it's comfortable and just start to roll your head in one direction no matter which direction we're going to switch the sides anyway so just start to really slowly draw some circles with your head and while you are circling with your head Try to feel all the muscles and tendons that are involved in this movement. Feel everything in your neck, in your shoulders. And then when you're in the middle, switch the directions and then circle your head to the other direction. So already doing this when you're in the office it just feels awesome because we don't even notice when we are sitting at a chair sometimes holding a phone with the shoulder to the head how strained our neck and shoulders are so when you're done with your neck circle Raise your head into a neutral position. We're still going to sit on our chair. And with our next inhalation, we are going to open the arms, slightly bent, pulling the shoulders to the back. And we are trying to close the shoulder blades together. If it's okay for your neck, you can also look up at the ceiling. And then with our exhalation, we are going to close the arms in front of us, bringing the underarms together, bending the head down, and you can also slightly round your back here. With the next inhalation, open up, looking up, you can do a slight back bend, pulling the elbows to the back. And exhale, closing, round your back, chin to chest. Just repeat this flow of movement a few times in your own pace, whatever pace your breath dictates. So every time you breathe in, you open up and with the exhalation, you're closing to the front.
Make sure that you lift away your back from the backrest of the chair. So in, for this exercise, we are not leaning onto the backrest. Your next inhalation, open up one more time. And then with the exhalation, close one last time. With the next inhalation, coming up into a neutral position. This one I will quickly switch directions. You can just stay as you are. I just like to like that you see it better what I'm doing. So with our next inhalation, we are going to lean onto the backrest. We're going to bring the hands or the arms above the head. Again, we are looking up. This time we are stretching behind us over the head and then with the exhalation stretch your legs to the front more or less keeping them still on the floor and then we are going to bend forward and just as far as it goes try to bring your upper body as close to the upper thighs as possible and then with the inhalation Stretching to the back and exhale, coming to the front. And again, just feel free to repeat this movement in the pace that your breath dictates. If you feel that it it feels good to stay in the back bend or in the forward bend. Feel free to spend a couple of breaths there. Whatever your body asks you to do, just listen to it. And also these repetitive, slow movements are very calming to the nervous system. So never mind how your peers are looking at you in the office. Your nervous system will be just fine. And you don't have to care about what they think. You just do your exercises. With the inhalation, come one more time to the back. And then with the exhalation, come back into a neutral position. And then, keeping the legs still on the floor, we are going to lean on to the right side of our chair. And in the next inhalation, raising the right arm above the head and stretching, stretching the left side body, making space between the ribs on the left side. If you want, you can slightly bend the, the arm where you're leaning on your hand. If it's all right for you or you're a more practiced yogi, you can also try to rotate the upper body slightly towards the ceiling and lifting your gaze towards the ceiling. We're going to take a couple of breaths here. And with the next inhalation coming into the middle, we're going to scoot or bum to the other side of the chair, lean on the other side of the chair, Switching the sides, so stretching the right arm overhead. If you want, you can also rotate towards the ceiling, looking up. Only if it's all right for your neck vertebrae. Creating space between the ribs on the right side body. We are Staying here for three slow more breaths, allowing time to the connective tissue between the ribs and in the side of our body to stretch, to lengthen. With the next inhalation, come into the middle. Sit on your chair, also in the middle. Inhale, raise the arms up. And the left arm is hanging sort of behind us on the chair. So we're doing an upper body twist. And if it's all right for your neck, you can try to look behind you over your left shoulder. And 
just take a few breaths here. Try to keep your upper body as upright as possible, preferably without rounding your lower back. But also pay attention to your own anatomy. Whatever limitations your body has, just respect them. And then we are going to inhale, bringing the arms up, rotating the upper body in the middle. And then with the exhalation, we're going to switch the sides, looking over the right shoulder to the back of the room. Taking two more slow breaths here again allowing the fascia the connective tissue to adjust to the position and then with the inhalation come into the middle and let's repeat this as a flow exhaling rotating to the left side and with the inhalation coming into the middle exhaling to the right side Inhaling, middle, exhaling to the left. Whatever pace your breath dictates. Repeat these movements. And then with your next inhalation, you're going to come into the middle. And with the exhalation, we're going to reach forward with both arms. And then we're going to cross the right arm over the left arm. And wrap the arms around each other. Slightly lift the arms up together. And here you can already feel that the shoulder blades are opening. So we're creating space between the shoulder blades. And then with the exhalation, or just bend slightly forward. Whatever your body is approving today. So we're going to stay here for a few breaths. I mean, this is a great exercise. If it's the only exercise you do in your office chair at least once a day, then you're already good because this is really, really relaxing the shoulders and the shoulder blades and the neck. So it's a really, really nice opening pose. So if you feel that there's pain between the shoulder blades under, that's where I always had my issues when I was sitting the whole day. This is a great exercise practice. With your inhalation, raise the upper body, unwrap the arms, stretch them in front of you, and we're going to switch the sides. So this time, the left arm comes over the right. We're going to wrap the arms around each other. If it only goes one time around each other, it's also fine. Whatever your body wants to do. Raising the arms slightly in front of us and then bending forward. Here, feel free to round your back a little bit and just go as deep as it's okay for you. Two more breaths here. Let's allow those tissues to lengthen and relax. And then with the next inhalation, release the arms and raise your upper body. So we're going to step up our game a little bit. So this was a very easy row of exercises that you can just do on your chair. If you, if you really have to stay at your uh, spot. But there, there are some more intensive movements that you can try with the chair. We are going to try a couple of rounds of sun salutations. 
with the help of the chair. So if you can disappear into a meeting room or anywhere quiet in the office, you can just give this a try. So we're going to stand opposite to our chair. I don't know, one casual step away, I would say. But we can adjust our distance in the meantime. Just stand tall, pull your hips under you. Make sure both food soles are on the ground. You're really grounded. You are connected to, to the earth, to the floor. Roll the shoulders back. Try to keep your spine as straight as possible. And then take a big breath, raise the arms up. Stretch yourself really, really high towards the ceiling. Pull the crown of your head also upwards. If you want to, you can try a, a mini, mini back bend here, but you don't have to. And then in the next exhalation, we are going to bend forward. So if this is your first forward bend today or in 10 years, then please make sure that you keep the knees slightly bent. If the hands are dangling somewhere above the ground, it's also fine. Go as deep as you can right now. And we're going to take a couple of breaths here just to get used to the position. And then with our next inhalation, we're going to roll up halfway and place our right foot on the chair, sinking our hips slightly downwards. You can either stay here or you can also raise the arms up again. Depends on your balance. You can also hold on to the chair for stability. couple of breaths here just to get used to position to our lounge and then with the next exhalation bringing the hands onto the seat of the chair bringing the right foot to the back and then we are going to keep the arms straight and sink the chest as deep as possible again if you have to you can also bend your knees slightly make sure that you feel a stretch in the shoulders, in the arms, in the upper back, in the back of the legs. So this is our kind of chair down, downward dog. Take a few breaths here. And then we are going to slightly raise our upper body, lift our right leg to the back, and then move into a cobra position, sinking the foot. If you want to, you can also place the upper side of the toes on the ground. If you want more grip, you can just keep the toes stuck. And you can also look up. Now sink your hips only as deep as it doesn't put too much pressure on your lower back. And then with the next exhalation, we are moving back into a downward dog. Straight arms, sinking the chest forward, slight back bend, uh, knee bend if you want to. And then with the next inhalation, placing the right foot again onto the chair, coming into a lounge. Feel free to raise the arms if you want to. And with the exhalation, carefully stepping away from the chair, coming into a forward bend with the knees slightly bent. And then with the next inhalation, we are going to roll up, bring the arms above the head, back bend if you wish. And then with the exhalation, we're going to sink the hands in front of your chest in Anjali Mudra, in prayer pose. So that was one half round. We are going to try the other half. Take a deep breath in, stretching towards the ceiling. And then with the exhalation, bending forward. 
inhale stepping forward with the left foot this time left foot goes on the chair sinking the hip downwards coming into a lounge if you want to you can raise the arms above the hips and then with the exhalation hands go down on the seat of the chair coming into a downward dog sinking the chest towards the ground arms straight on the seat of the chair inhale slightly lift the chest lift the left leg behind you this time and then with the Next inhalation, bringing the left foot forward, again coming into our forward lounge, raising the arms up, and then with the exhalation, left leg goes back onto the ground, coming into a forward bend, and then slowly rolling up with the inhalation, arms go up above the head, and with the exhalation, prayer pose. Okay, so we're gonna try one more round, a little bit faster. Now you know the drill. Taking a deep inhalation, arms up, and exhale, forward bend. Inhaling deeply, right foot comes to the front, arms above the head, and then with the exhalation, hands go on the seat, coming into downward dog. From downward dog, inhale, lift the chest, lift the right foot behind you and pressing forward into a cobra. And then tuck the toes, exhale, back into your downward dog. Inhaling, right foot comes onto the chair, coming in your lounge with raised arms if you wish or hands on your seat. With the next exhalation, stepping away from the chair, coming into a forward bend, and inhale, slowly rolling up, arms are coming above the hip, and exhale, prayer pose. One last half round, arms up, inhale, exhale, forward bend. With the next inhalation, left foot comes to the front on the chair, sinking the hips, arms up. And with the exhalation, hands go on the chair. Putting the left leg slightly behind us, sinking the hips into the cobra pose. With the exhalation, tuck the toes and then press into the downward dog. Inhale, left foot comes to the front. Raising the arms into a lounge. And then with the exhalation, support yourself with the hands while bringing the left foot to the back, coming into forward bend. And then with the inhalation, slowly rolling up, bringing the arms up, and exhale. Prayer pose. Okay, so this is sun salutations. So if you have a secret spot, you can also give this a try. It really moves your whole body and it really helps to evoke the energy flow. So doing just two rounds of it, it's going to up your heartbeat. It's going to elevate your breath. So it's a really good one to energize yourself, especially in the afternoon slump. So there are some other exercises. Actually, I need the chair like this. Some other easy exercises you can practice with the chair. So for this one, you're also facing your chair approximately one step away from your chair. And we are going to make this step actually. So we're gonna step forward with our right foot. We are keeping both legs more or less straight if, you're, if your body allows you to. And now we are going to exhale 
place the left hand onto our chair, rotate our upper body to the right and we're going to stretch the right arm towards the ceiling. And we're going to take a couple of breaths here. So I'm sure you can feel how your organs react to this twist. So it's not a position that we do every day. With the next exhalation, lower the right hand onto the chair. And then we are going to fold our right leg to the front onto the chair. If it's all right for you, you can try to sink your right hip onto the chair. If this position is something that your body really doesn't want to do, don't force it. We're going to stretch the left leg to the back or you can keep it slightly bent. It's your choice. And here you can just hang out and lean onto the back of your chair or if you would like to have like a deeper back bend, you can also slightly push yourself away from the seat of your chair. And that it's good for you. So in this position, it's more stretching the front of the body. If you come more to the front, you are putting more pressure on your folded legs. So you are stretching the outside of the right leg. So it's good to take a few breaths here. Just really allow the tissues to, to get used to the position. And then with your next inhalation, press yourself away from your chair. Bring the right leg to the back. And then we are going to step forward with the left foot, placing the right hand onto our chair, and then opening up the chest to the left, stretching the left arm towards the ceiling, trying to keep the leg straight, but if only happens for you with slightly bent forward leg, it's also fine. Whatever works for your body. With your gaze, you can follow the upper arm looking up. If it's too much pressure in your neck, you can just look forward or you can look downwards. Whatever feels good for your shoulders and neck. And then with the next inhalation, Bringing the left hand down, finding support in the seat of the chair, and we're going to bend, we're going to fold our left leg this time, placing it on the chair. If it happens for you, you can sink your left hip onto the chair or just keep it slightly elevated, whatever works for you. You might need a pillow on the chair if you are a bit uncomfortable. You can stretch the right leg to the back and again decide if you would like to put some more pressure in the hips, on the leg for a deep stretch or you rather would like to elevate your chest slightly pushing it away from the seat of your chair, having a deeper back bend, maybe even raising your gaze upwards. Just find a position that feels good to you and stay there for a few breaths. And then with your next exhalation, whatever position you are in, you can release it. Be very careful when you are releasing this leg that you, you've been folding. And we are going to sit down onto our chair in a way 
that you are not sitting in the middle, you are going to slide, scoot slightly to the right in a way that your right leg can freely move on the side. Make sure you're holding onto your chair and make sure that you're not moving too much to the sides because then you can lose your balance on the chair. So find a good position where you're stable and then we are going to try to grab our right foot with the right hand. Feel free to lean back onto the backrest of the chair. If it's not happening, if, if your foot is too far, you can just really bend that right foot towards the back and stay there. If it's happening, then hold on to that foot. This way you can nicely stretch the front side of your thighs, which is not really stretched while you are sitting in front of your computer. So this is a nice stretch really that can release some tension from the hip flexors. And then let's try it on the other side as well. Carefully release that foot. Slide on to the left side of your chair. Hold on to it. Make sure you're really stable so you're not going to land on your side. Lean back onto the backrest. And then try to grab the left foot with the left hand. And just hanging out here giving a good stretch to our thigh and the hip flexors. And if you want, you can still reply an email with one hand. And then after a couple of breaths, we are going to release the left foot and do one more nice stretch. We're gonna scoot to the front of the chair, keeping the balance, placing our heels onto the ground. And then with our exhalation, we are going to bend forward as much as possible so that you keep your balance, you feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs, and you try to bring your upper body closer to your thighs, but it doesn't have to touch, of course. You can grab your lower leg, grab your ankles, grab your toes, whatever you can grab onto. Feel free to hold on to those parts. And breathe here a few times. Now we are staying for a couple of moments in each position you can gently close your eyes and really focus on the sensations in your body how do each pose feel in the body if you feel somewhere uh, any blocks or resistance or discomfort you can always try to breathe into these parts try to release and dissolve whatever discomfort or block you feel there. And then with the next inhalation, slowly rolling the body up. If you want to, you can grab your knees. Hug them to your chest. And then we are going to move into a final relaxation. And for this one, it's awesome to have a chair because you can just lie down on the floor, make sure that you grab a blankie or anything similar if you're not in a warm place. You can just pack your lower legs up onto your chair, really rest them there, lie onto your back 
and just release the arms somewhere comfortably near your body. You can also do this just like a single exercise in the office. And when you are comfortable in this position, just close your eyes. And again, reconnect with your breath. Observe a few out breaths and in breaths. Coming back into your body, coming back into a restful position. And again, feel the body parts which are touching either your chair or the floor under you. Elevating the legs, especially if you are standing or sitting the whole day, it's really, really therapeutic. It's a very good way to remove the blood the stagnant blood from the feet, from the lower legs, from the pelvic area, and move it towards the heart and the lungs where the blood is being cleansed and oxygenized, and then eventually it's going to flow back into the lower extremities. If you have someone who is struggling with varicose veins or hemorrhoids, it's also a great position to practice every day. It's super relaxing and it has a beneficial effect on our cardiovascular system. And just make sure that you're comfortable and let's, let's stay here for a minute or two.
take a deep breath in through your nose. And if you want to release through your mouth. Two more times, deeply in through the nose. And exhaling through the mouth. And gently move your fingers and toes. Waking the body up. And whenever you're ready, you can remove your feet from your chair. And just place the food soles on the ground. Whenever you're ready, slowly come up into a seated position. Take a few calming breaths here. And then one more deep inhalation. And with your next exhalation, gently open the eyes. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I think to everyone who stuck around, especially with the technical issues, uh, I'm really grateful if you stayed with me till the end. In case you would like to receive this yoga sequence, feel free to reach out to me on social media or on, through my website, greenomelette.eco. And also, if you would like to learn a little bit more about how yoga can personally support you in your everyday life or in your health journey, please never hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you for being here. Namaste.